Yo guys, so how do I warm up when I don't have uh, a program there to help? Typically for my warm ups, I'll be using uh, Singing Success CD12 to start with and then I'll use a little bit of something else. Depending on what I'm doing today, let's just distinguish between, sorry, today, any day, any particular day, depending on what I'm doing on that day. Let's just distinguish between days when you're working out and days when you are warming up to sing and perform. So today I'm talking about days when I'm warming up to perform and sing. I'm not going to be doing as much. I'm just going to be getting the voice pliable, moldable, flexible feeling, warm. Yeah. Um, on a workout day, I'll be doing a lot more and um, eventually I'll tire myself out because I want to get these muscles stronger. Uh, but on a on a warm up day, on a day when I'm performing, on a day when I'm streaming, um, I'll need to do just enough. Get the voice pliable, get the voice stretching, get some range going, get some presence going, and um, and then try and ease my way into singing rather than having to go not to 100 miles an hour as soon as I get on stage. Um, some singers can do that. I struggle with that. So I need something to step by step get me towards that area. Right. All that being said, let's start. So first of all, as soon as I wake up generally or just as I'm uh, going about my early part of my day, breakfast, shower, this kind of thing, um, uh, I'm already thinking, how's my voice feeling? Um, typically, I'll just start finding edge. I'll start finding, and this is the order I'm going to be generally going, edge first, pharyngeal, and then to some mix, yeah? So what do I mean when I say I find edge? I'm just trying to find some release and edge and get my voice coordinating up to higher pitches. Um, typically, when I wake up, hmm, hmm, my chest voice is ready to go. I don't really need to warm it up. <clears throat> Some people wake up here. Uh, had a rough night. You might need to uh, buh, 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 to get some closure in chest voice. Or if your chest voice really squeezed, whoo, whoo, you might need to do some work releasing it again. Um, but typically, uh, for me at least, chest voice is there. Um, so don't need to worry too much about that. I just trust that it's going to be there. Um, for me, I've got to work out, work, work around, work around uh, how do I get these chords to, to go up and down, to get up some range going. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just start there. And I always kind of sink right down into chest afterwards. Ah. Uh, And I just work my way in. Always making sure I'm closing down those chords, getting a nice, nice, nice tight closure on the chords, real small type of sound. Yeah, I'm letting myself be vulnerable, just checking those. Uh, Gas digastric muscles aren't uh, uh, engaging. Just trying to find some release up there. Very light, legit type sound, edgy sound. Um, just helping to get the voice to feel like it's stretching. Yeah, stretching and pliable. That's the start of it. Very small. From there, I tend to go towards pharyngeal. So basically, I'll close the mouth down. And uh, there's two ways to do it. First, I'll just try... Now, some days it won't want to go. So I'll be like, uh, how am I going to get there? So typically the easiest way for me to find it is to go back to the edge and then put pharyngeal on top of that. So I'll do this. I'll basically go. <laughs> yeah. 
And you notice I got quite a lot of phlegm today. I just had breakfast, but we can still get there. Let's do it. So, back down to chest every time now I'm starting to starting to just find it a little bit yeah it's all creaky it's not exactly where I want but the point of this is to let yourself be vulnerable let let yourself uh, you know find it rather than trying to get control of it necessarily um, uh, so I'm giving you this video so you can see how vulnerable it can be how uh, I'm just allowing myself to voice to, to allow the voice to do what it wants to do and um, accept it rather than try and fight it. <clears throat> yeah, and that's when I start to feel the pharyngeal engaging. You've got some presence there. It's not just... It's... I'm there, basically. Yeah, I'm there. <clears throat> and that's typically where I go after that. I start just to drop the mouth and open it up a little bit. You start to hear some mix in there, yeah? That's how I start to find fuller sounds without uh, without yelling. You notice how it's very, you can hear that split of resonance. You can hear uh and uh at the same time if you listen carefully. That shows you that it's not a pulled mix. It's a balanced sound. And from there... I start dropping the mouth a little bit more and uh, see if I can get just a bit more roundness to the sound rather than just, uh, yeah? Go, 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 go! Yeah? Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! And try and get there. Yeah. Go, 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 go. And that's how I'm doing it. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Each time I'm adding weight and I'm just letting that sound fill out, round out. Yeah. Very naturally and easily. So I'm kind of just leaning myself in there. Now, just from where we started on a ee, ee, where we started on that, we're getting towards more of a singing type sound now. Now from there, my voice is pliable. I, I'm, I'm engaging in head voice nicely. Um, basically, the voice feels moldable and movable now. Yeah. If you start out warming out, uh, uh, hit that ceiling. Yeah. There's no way past that. Um, so you've got to find a way to warm up where you are getting right up there and then coming down from the top and whoosh, swelling into chest, swelling as you come down, yeah? That way you always kind of feel like you want an even keel with your voice. You never feel like, uh, you feel like, oh, 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 yeah? And this is what we mean when we talk about pulling chest. Um, we, we're talking about that sense of, Oh, 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 staying on top, keeping uh, nice and even in the coordination rather than giving in to the, the, the urge to let that resonance just drop out the mouth and hit that 
that glass ceiling. Uh, uh, yeah. There's a time and a place for, uh, you know, for very full chesty sounds, but it's certainly not the place or the time when you are trying to find and get your voice mobile and moving and working in the mornings. You've got to try and, uh, again, stealth your way in there, trick your mind in there and get to that easy spot from there. Uh, uh, uh. You can add more squeeze on that horizontal without the chances of, uh, of losing that nice release that you start with, yeah? So hopefully this has helped you to establish how do you need to think about warming up when you're singing for the day? How do you need to think about um, approaching uh, your voice uh, uh, in the morning as you wake up? Um, basically, this is the better angle, at least from my perspective. This is what works for me. Now, other coaches will tell you other things, but uh, I can only go and I can only put out there what I know, what I feel like works for me over the years. And that is the best way. Anyway, guys, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again. Bye bye. Oh, and one last thing. I am streaming Monday, Wednesday on Twitch TV. I'll put the link in the description. Come check it out uh, tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, hopefully see you there. Cool. Bye.